Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are well and I hope you guys are staying safe. If you're wondering what on earth is she wearing, I know, I know, I know. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this dress that I'm wearing and it's an overall dress or a dungaree inspired dress. Whatever you want to call it really works, but I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make it. And guess what? I made sure to include all the juicy details. So that includes details like how to add this button here or how to add, um, how to add this buckle and this one here. I made sure to add all the juicy details in this video so if that sounds like something you're interested in definitely keep watching and watch to the very end all right guys we've got a couple of housekeeping notes and we've got a couple of scores to settle you and i yes so tell me guys i found that that almost 80 percent of you who watch this videos are not subscribed and that hurts my feelings so please 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 do well to subscribe if you're new here welcome welcome my name is ayatollah the creative director of so unique badani and the content creator of this channel diy with so unique badani and this channel was created literally just for you and i'm not even joking it was created for you to teach you loads of sewing crafts and to talk um, sewing crafts and you know different art tutorials that you can do from the comfort of your home and if that sounds like something you're interested in definitely hit the subscribe button and trust me guys it is absolutely free of charge so all you need to do to subscribe is hit the subscribe button okay do it now go on go on go on and the notification bell awesome so that way you don't miss out on any content that i have or any community post that i have and you are literally the first person to know when i drop content and trust me guys you want to be the first person to know because i've got loads of amazing things in store for you guys in the month of april and beyond a quick shout out to my youtube partner manager maz she's been amazing she's been working with me on the channel and we kind of made some progress and a couple of things to note however before i forget my ogs the main ogs in this channel shout out to you guys thank you so much for being a part of this channel thank you for sticking with me and thank you for being a part of this community you guys are absolutely amazing and this channel will not be here without you so i'm really grateful for you guys thank you so much now let's move on to the next housekeeping notes i don't know if you guys already know but i did put out a poster saying that i have a class taking place on the 5th and on the 12th of august which is saturdays in london right the location is yet to be confirmed however we are in the works of settling location and i will be settling that in due course however everything else is confirmed so the cost material the training material what you need all the equipment you're going to be using while you're on the you know on the workshop Shop course um all of that is available and ready right and if you guys want to register it is 65 pounds so 65 pounds i've only got 20 slots so if you're interested in learning how to make skirts and i'm going to be covering like lots of details so if you're interested in learning how to make skirts you definitely want to enroll for this class trust me guys the next one is going to be about 100 pounds it's never going to be as cheap as this one again so some of the things i'm going to be covering in that workshop will be how to take the skirt measurement so basically the important measurements you need for skirts how to draft a skirt block i'm going to be going in details like how to draft a pattern skirt block and obviously how to draft a pencil skirt pattern so from the block we're going to take it to how to become a pencil skirt a line and all those kind of skirts and then we're going to have like you sew a pencil skirt and finish it properly and how to sew a circle skirt and also a pleated skirt so so those are some of the things that we're going to be covering and trust me guys it's well worth it 65 pounds in london on the 5th and 12th of august and i only have 20 slots so i'm going to put the payment link in the description bar or in the description box of this video and it's also on my instagram so if you're not following me on instagram my instagram channel is linked in the description bar and the channel name is going to be on the screen somewhere it is at so unique underscore ng so i've got that as well so go ahead do well to you know go on my instagram the link will be in my bio or also click on the link here and make your payment like i said 20 slots and if you're you know looking for someone to gift you can gift your friend in the uk that's an amazing gift 65 pounds a skirt making workshop and everything all right now that that's out of the way okay so guys this is april and april is actually one of my favorite months in you know for this channel excuse me and that's because i started my channel in april 2020 so this year my channel is going to be three years old on the 12th of april and i have a couple of giveaways lined up for this channel so this giveaway particularly this particular one i'm about to announce is for people in the uk so if you are in the uk you've got the first giveaway and we're starting it off 
actually starting tomorrow so the winner will be announced the following week or well the winner will be announced in two weeks so i need you guys to actually participate and give you guys enough time to make your outfit so the giveaway is going to be getting the person is going to be getting this sewing kit and it is by prime uk i don't know if you guys can see it properly um it is by prime uk it's a sewing kit and it's got everything that you need to start a sewing journey behind and obviously if that sounds like something you're interested in you definitely want to take part in this in this giveaway so to take part in this giveaway all you have to do is follow prime uk on instagram follow me on instagram and make one piece so you're going to be making this dress that i'm wearing actually so that's what you have to do so make this dress that i'm wearing um follow prime uk prime consumer actually i'll leave their links in the description bar or on the screen and also on my instagram follow prime consumer follow myself and obviously make the dress recreate the dress and then send me your details i'm going to actually be picking three winners from this the first person is going to be getting so the first winner is actually going to be getting um a gift from me a sewing tool and and access to my car class so the 65 plan, um, 65 pound sewing class the person is going to be getting access to that so that's the first winner and then the second person is going to be getting um, um just access to the class so i've also got two slots gone already and then the third person is going to be getting this from prime consumer so i've got three people i'm gonna pick for this giveaway guys and you have till the mid of you have till mid april to actually complete this dress get it ready submit your entry on instagram basically just post it on instagram with you wearing the dress or mannequin wearing the dress or a dress from wearing the dress and then just tag me and tag prime consumer and that way i can pick the winners and then we can have you guys enroll in the class literally for free okay does that sound exciting all right guys i feel like i've been blabbing for so long and to be fair i have been blabbing for seven minutes so again if you've not subscribed please do well to subscribe if you're not following me on social media please follow all the links will be in the description bar obviously if you're interested in paying for the class or knowing more about the class send me a dm on instagram and i'll be happy to respond and obviously thank you so much for the support guys you guys are absolutely amazing we're nearly at 50k and it's all thanks to you guys enjoy the video guys bye all right guys so to start off you need the following items you need your pattern paper you need your measuring tape you need your ruler you need your paper scissors you need your fabric scissors or rotary cutter you need some pins or weights and then you need your tailor's chalk as well it would also help if you could get your pattern master as well um, i ended up using mine just so you know this is these are the items that you need so let's get started first thing you want to do is you want to fold your paper into two you want to make sure that your paper is the desired length so in terms of like your overall dress length you want to make sure you have that length on check and then you want to make sure that the width is as wide enough as a quarter of your hip so if you notice this paper is on fold however yours doesn't have to be on fold but i decided to do mine on fold but it was you know it ended up being pointless so like i said you don't have to do it on fold now um, at the top you want to start by drawing a top line this is just so that it's guiding you so i went ahead to draw a top line and obviously at the bottom from the top line you want to mark the um, desired length so this length you want to mark it down vertically right and once you mark the desired length you just want to mark the point and also just square it out as shown after squaring it out now you have the top line and then the bottom line the next thing you want to do is you want to mark your shoulder to bust measurement so we're going to assume the top line is the shoulder so you want to mark your shoulder to bust measurement which is a vertical measurement you take on your body and in my case it was 30 centimeters and then next thing you want to mark your shoulder to waist measurement or your half length or your front body length measurement so again i went ahead to mark that now the next thing you want to do is kind of mark your hip point and for this i have a guiding principle you mark 6 8 10 for me it's 10 inches because i'm a size uk size 12 14 however if you're like a size small then you mark at six and then if you're like a medium you mark your hip measurement around eight now this is not important it's just a guiding principle really for you to know so i figured that like, my, hip, my hip is around 10 also another way to know where your hip will be around is divide your hip measurement by four and kind of mark that point right that will give you a guide towards where your hip is square out all the points as shown so basically you just want to draw horizontal lines that are really straight i used my pattern master for that and then on the shoulder line you want to mark half your shoulder measurement so my shoulder measurement is 14 inches i went ahead to mark half of that that's seven inches and then obviously on the bust line you want to go ahead and mark a quarter of your bust measurement now you're marking a quarter because this is a quarter of your body when you think about it and on the waistline you want to mark a quarter of your waist measurement and obviously on the hip line as well you want to mark your a quarter of your hip measurement 
given and that goes same for the base or the end line as well now after marking all these points this is what it should look like the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and add one inch to the waistline and the reason why you add one inch is because it's an overall dress you don't need it too tight you also don't need to, you, you know you want it kind of loose not too tight so basically around the waist you add one inch so again at the shoulder point i have half the shoulder measurement at the bust i have a quarter of the bust measurement at the waist i have a quarter of the waist measurement plus one inch and at the hip i have a quarter of the hip measurement and same for the baseline now you want to make a line three inches above the bust measurement and this will kind of guide as the ammo point again this is not important because we don't really have an ammo dress but it's a guiding principle so go ahead and do that now I mark a line three inches above the bust point and after marking a line on that same mark that you've just done mark half your shoulder measurement so basically what we're trying to do is you know draw a horizontal line that is three inches above the bust point and then draw on that horizontal line make a point that is half a shoulder measurement so that you can connect it to the point on the shoulder line which is what i've just done now so i know it's a bit confusing i could have explained that better but i hope you guys get it now the next thing you want to do is you want to connect your bust point line to the sh to the new ammo line that we've just done and if you saw the way that i did that i literally just squared it up and then after that connect the points so you connect the point on the bust line to the point on the waistline and i used a ruler for that and then from the waistline to the hip i went ahead to use like the curved part of my pattern master and then from the hip to the baseline i went ahead to use a straight ruler so at the end of the day this is what it's looking like now right the next thing for us to do is to now kind of you know finish shaping the pattern so that we have it for the overall so you want to start you want to draw the arm o, and for this it's not really important like i said it's just a guideline so i just went ahead to draw in the arm o using my pattern master there was really no no there was not a lot of thought to that like i said just because we don't really need the ammo for this so go ahead and draw in your ammo curve as you would normally and then after drawing the ammo curve the next thing for us to do is to now finish up the overall dress next to complete the overall dress shaping you want to mark three inches above the waistline so just mark three inches above the waist and i'm using my red marker for this so you can distinguish it and then on the arm o line which is the line that we drew last that is not labeled you want to mark four inches in starting from the edge so four inches in and this is so that we have like the overall arm o. and i don't know if you noticed but for overalls they're always really large this is just you know a guide which is why i said that the actual arm o is not necessary now the next thing you want to do is connect that with a curved line as shown after doing that the next thing you want to do is you want to mark where you get your straps and for the straps i always recommend making it about one inch to one and a half inches so if you want it one inch you mark three inches from the edge and then you mark an extra one inch or if you want it one and a half you mark two and a half inches from the edge and then you mark an extra one and a half inch no matter what you do it must not exceed four inches so that it aligns or so that it is straight with the ammo line so as you can see i just drew a straight line from the ammo line now go ahead and mark your sewing allowance of half an inch all around so all around your pattern you want to mark half an inch go ahead and do that making sure that you have enough allowance and now after marking your allowance all around it's time to cut out your pieces carefully cut out the pattern pieces and when you cut it out you'll notice that if you cut it out properly more likely um you might have the strap separately you have to also add half an inch to that part and i forgot to because we're gonna have the strap separate so i went ahead to add half an inch towards the um armhole area the front part of the um overall dress as you can see i'm just doing that now so i added half an inch and i'm going to replace that on the strap later so go ahead and cut out the whole pattern and you should have your pattern pieces as shown so for me, because my pattern was on fold, I went ahead to cut out the strap pieces and I went ahead to use a paper tape to join them together. Like I said, to be fair, you don't have to make your pattern um, pieces on fold. And to be fair, this is not even really important because it's a straight strap. So you can go ahead and, you know, freehand and just cut the strap if that works for you. It was at this moment I realized it was absolutely pointless having it unfold. So I went ahead to like separate the pieces by cutting it along the edge, making sure it was neatly cut after. 
I mean, this would have worked out well if I had like the front and the back at different lengths. But for this overall dress, I have the front and the back piece at the same length, right? Ideally, if you wanted it, you could make the front lower than the back for your dungaree dress. But, you know, like I said, it didn't really matter. So I went ahead to start cutting out my fabric pieces. And to cut out your fabric pieces, you want to cut out two pieces of this one. So go ahead and pin it onto the fabric as shown. And I'm using this gorgeous red fabric like I got from Simply Fabrics. Go ahead and pin this onto your fabric and make sure that it's well pinned and then go ahead and cut it out now after pinning i realized that i didn't leave like any ease only at the waist and i didn't want it to be really really tight so i went ahead to kind of add a half an inch which was not like my sewing allowance but i only added it to the side areas really and then obviously i added a bit of allowance to the um hem so that i had a bit of allowance to hem the dress as well all right guys so at this point i realized that i lost some footage like i said earlier you want to cut out two pieces of the main fabric now for the straps that you have even if yours is not long you want to make sure that your strap is at least one inch wide and then 14 inches long or one and a half inches wide and 14 inches long don't forget to add the sewing allowance now i also cut out facing now for the facing pieces what i just did was i just kind of cut out a curved shape along um my dungaree pattern and i cut it towards the waist area just so you can see and i just included that because like i said i lost some footage so this is what my pieces look like this is what my strap pieces look like they're about 14 inches in length and then the desired width plus sewing allowance this is what the facing piece looks like as well and for the facing like i said there's no hard fast rule i just kind of followed the um top part of it and i just cut it out as shown right and i made sure it was on fold as well and then this is the main fabric so these are all the pieces that you require you need two pieces of facing two pieces of the main fabric and two straps two strap pieces now for the first part i'm going to line the facing onto the main fabric and as you can see the facing is almost the exact same thing the only difference is that it's way shorter and after doing that we're going to go ahead and start sewing the top part so first sew the straight line and then also sew the curved armhole areas right so you want to go ahead and do that first and then after doing that we'll come back here after sewing here's what it looks like and guys i'm sorry i don't know why my camera went dark at this point but anyway after sewing here's what it looks like now the next thing to do is to make sure you iron this and put it aside i'm just going to put it aside for now and then we're going to get the um other strap now some people decide to add like a you know add pockets to their to their front piece some people decide to add pockets at the a big pocket on the top or two side pockets at the bottom however i was really lazy so i wasn't going to add any pockets but if you guys want me to do one with pockets let me know and i'll be more than happy to do a tutorial but like i said if you wanted to add pockets you could add pockets to the main top or to the bottom part of it as well moving on to the straps like i said earlier you want to cut out two pieces and you want them to be about 14 15 inches long or even longer if you like and then obviously you want them to be wide enough so remember to add your sewing allowance when you're cutting it for a strap that is one inch wide you want to be cutting out three inches you want to fold it as shown fold it into two making sure the right sides are facing each other you want to pin it along the edges and also pin the base one of the ends and then you want to go ahead and sew it after sewing into place you want to use your loop turner and turn it inside out and then you want to make sure that you do the same thing for the other piece as well so this was a bit tricky to turn inside out because of the um because of the fabric type it kept on poking a hole but i eventually got it done and like i said you want to make sure that one edge is also sewn closed so i went ahead to give it a good iron i ironed the pieces and i also ironed the front piece as well Once the straps are ready and ironed, the next thing you want to do is you want to lay your back piece on the table, making sure the right side is facing you. Now from the edge of the back piece at the, at the top, you want to mark half an inch in and that's just a sewing allowance. And then you want to go ahead and pin the straps. Now I always recommend that your straps at least stick out by one inch. And as you can see, you pin the straps so that the bottom is facing the hem and then make sure that it's sticking out at least by one inch. So it's sticking up at least by one inch. So pin the straps on both sides, make sure they're equal and then go ahead and place the facing over it so for the facing you want to make sure the right side of the facing is facing the right side of the main fabric and then go ahead and sew along the straight part and the curved 
areas like we did for the front piece so again i'm using my genome machine i'm using my genome 2000 professional hd 2000 machine really great machine and i'll put the links in the description box a few people have asked me what machines i use and i always use my genome hd machine and also my genome hair um, my genome air trader machine as well and i think that they really do a good job so after sewing it this is what it looks like um the fabric is really thick but you know the machine went over it like butter the next thing to do is to sort out the sides so place the front piece over the back piece and make sure that the right sides are facing each other align the facing pieces together and align the sides all the way to the hem together pin it in place if this helps and then go ahead and sew it on half an inch or on sewing allowance that you decided to leave you want to repeat this on the other side as well and then make sure you go ahead and sew it all right guys so after sewing this is what it looks like and basically you want to go ahead and give it a good iron now the next thing to do is to sort out the hem and for the hem because i went i went ahead to overlock it initially all i had to do was just fold it once and then go go over it with my sewing machine right however if you haven't then you have to do a regular hem and then obviously after the hem we're gonna go ahead to sort out the buckles so you want to go ahead and get a pair of dungaree buckle and buttons and these ones are no so i got them on amazon i'll put the link in the description box and this is what it has these are the parts so you want to go ahead and start marking where you want the button to be on the front part and i start i did that on the on be um i do that behind rather so i want to head to mark two centimeters to the left and two centimeters to the right and also two centimeters down and from that point you can use an owl to puncture a hole however i didn't have an owl so i went ahead to use a nail so go ahead ahead and put the base or the screw part from the back and then when it comes out in front you want to go ahead and you know use the button on the top right on the right side so like i see i'm pulling it out and then once it's out like i said grab the button and then place it on the right side of it put the button on the right side you do need to reinforce it so go ahead and use like a tailor's hammer i went ahead to use my scissors don't do that don't be like me just because i couldn't find like my tailor's hammer but just use a scissor and make sure that you kind of reinforce it so you want to repeat that on the other side as well so from the back put the screw in through where you marked and then go ahead and put the button on the right side and then again you want to get your hammer and then just make sure that you kind of reinforce that in place right after doing that at this point your buttons is all done so this is how they look like the buttons are all ready and done for you now the next thing to do is to sort out the buckle so for the buckle you want to take the straight rectangle bar and then you want to put the strap in to the bar and let it come out on the other side so that the bar is in between right so you want to have the middle bar in between the strap and the outer bar should be on the you know the rectangle should be on the outside meanwhile the middle bar should be on the inside of the strap next you want to go ahead and insert it into the buckle piece as shown it's really hard to describe so just go ahead and follow the instruction and then after doing that you want to make sure that it's straight and then you're going to make sure check just check that everything fits all right and then go ahead and tuck in the excess so this is the excess but we don't want to leave it hanging so we're going to tuck it into the middle bar as well so the exact same way that you inserted the rectangular bar initially you're going to go ahead and insert it as shown and basically guys guys that's how you do it i know it's a bit tricky but go ahead and watch the video again if you need to or even watch me do the second part because i made sure to record it All right, guys so like i said i'm going ahead to do the second part as well and it's the same thing you want to get the first part that is rectangular with a middle bar you want to seek sneak you want to put the strap in and so that the the rectangular bit is on the back side of the strap and then the middle bar is on the inside then you want to go ahead and get the buckle bit and then you want to stick it in as well this time so that the buckle is on the outside and the bar is on the inside now you want to fold in the excess and you want to tuck it into the rectangular bar now saying it again i know it sounds really easy but it's not as easy go ahead and practice and watch this video as many times as you need to
all right guys so at this point we've come to the very end of the video thank you so much for watching to the very end i hope you enjoyed it and i hope it was worth your while please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed don't forget to like this video don't forget to share don't forget to register for the class and don't forget to order your stuff in the description box and follow me on social media thank you guys and i'll see you soon